Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Malachi here with Brotherhood Outdoors. Um, today I just want to do a little bit of a quick video on our Polaris Ranger um, 900 XP. This Ranger is actually, it's a 2013 model. We bought this brand new back in 2013. And I'll show you what we've done to it since then. It's pretty obvious there's been some stuff done. Um, I'm just going to point out what we did and the order that we did it in, all the mods on this thing. So the first thing that we ended up doing when we bought this property, we needed something to navigate it. And there was a couple areas where we had spots where it was just a little bit mucky to where even with four wheel drive, um, you were still going to get stuck eventually because it was just like quicksand. So the first thing we ended up doing was we got a winch on it. And I believe this is maybe 4,500. I'm not entirely sure on that. And the tires were next thing that we had in store for it, but we ended up going with the windshield. Um, just to get that installed actually when we had the winch installed we had the windshield installed and we had the roof we bought the roof with it too um and then of course just after a couple of weeks we realized even with a winch you know it was still just getting to the point where we were just getting annoyed having to winch so what we did was we went with bigger tires and a lift kit i installed it um in another video that i got a lot of hate on because i was just a kid and the editing sucked but I, it's, I believe it's a, shoot, I don't want to give any false numbers out, but I think it's a two and a half or three inch lift. Um, it's a super ATV lift, but I'm not entirely sure. It's been like, you know, three, four years since I did it. So yeah, I'm sorry if my memory is off on that a little bit. But then what we went with was 28 by 10 by 14 tires, Moto MTC tires. And these ones are, these are sweet tires. I mean, the tread is not really a great tread pattern for going on the road, um, which they're not designed for. So, I mean, what can you expect? Um, but they are amazing uh, mud tires and uh, all-terrain slash mud tires, mostly just mud. And I mean, they're just, they're just awesome. So yeah, um, we literally never actually, only one time because one of the differentials went out on the rear end and the, uh, what you call it? this one right here, this drive shaft, whatever. Um, this thing blew out on us and we were, something got up and under the boot and then broke it and it was just shot. So we had to use the winch that time. But other than that, we've never had to use this winch to pull this thing out since we put these tires on here. And I mean, it was a little bit pricey to get all the wheels and tires, but um, for their, this is many times we got annoyed having to pull ourselves out with the winch and get out in the mud and you know it was well worth it to us to have those tires on there over the last four years now these wheels i don't know if i told you the size of the tire i guess gives it away if it's a 28 by 10 by 14 these are 14 inch wheels the original wheels are 12 inches and we went with a little bit bigger and we only went with it for styling purpose but we didn't really think about all this for the long term and i'll tell you what i mean by that now this is a great looking piece of machinery. I'm not gonna lie, it's awesome. It's a great machine while it runs great. It, I mean, we've never had a problem with the motor. It's always ran perfect. And I mean, that's great. But what we didn't think about, now this is not Polaris's fault, um, but we just didn't put it into consideration when we did it. When you put, obviously, I mean, this is a given to anybody who understands mechanics. If when you put 28 inch tires and 14 inch wheels, on a machine that's supposed to turn 25 inch tires and 12 inch wheels that's a lot of extra meat to be swinging around you know on that drive shaft and on you know on these on all these parts and so these things right here you've got a good uh i don't know we've replaced i guess we've had this done for three years the lift and tires and wheels and i'm thinking two times we've had to get stuff swapped out which isn't too bad, but not all of them. We had, like I said, you know, that one on the back, I already pointed that out. Not on this side, but the other side, we had that one go out. And I don't know if that was entirely just because of the tires, because those weren't even on there that long. These tires had only been on for a couple of weeks when we had to replace that one. So I don't know if that was because of the tires or something, you know, like I was saying, I think something got up under the boot and then, you know, messed with it and got up and the bearings were falling out then and just, it was just messed up. So I don't know what happened there, but, um, I'm just assuming it had a little bit to do with the tires, but I'm not entirely sure on that. But I do know that these get wore out a lot faster 
um, the bearings they all get wore out a lot faster when you have this much this much extra uh, weight spinning around on the end of those parts so something you have to consider when you're going to lift your UTV or side by side now if we were to go back and do it again we'd probably just go with a high lifter edition um, which we still might be swapping this out eventually here soon we're not entirely sure on what we want to do with it haven't been driving it a lot you know um, but you know overall it's it's been very you know we've been very pleased with it and we haven't really like I said we have no we've had no problems with the motor um, the only problems we've had was with stuff um, in fault of installing the lift kit and bigger wheels and tires other than that the machine has been pretty sound so pretty pleased on that end now I mentioned if we had to go back um, we would just get a high lift tradition instead of doing what we did and now at the time in 2013 they didn't have the high lift tradition out there available so it wasn't really an option um, but the reason I say that is because when you get the high lift tradition everything comes upgraded to fit the bigger wheels and bigger tires now when I say I mean it's got the winch it's got the arced and power coated um, a arms it's got I mean a drive shaft the belts everything everything is geared lower and geared stronger and everything's built tougher to sustain basically deep mudding I mean that's I mean because that's what it's designed for and so when you have a machine like this that's not designed for that specifically and then you try to make it capable for that without doing everything bumper to bumper you're just kind of asking for problems long term um, but like I said we didn't really consider that when we did it but you know now you know we're getting to the stages where we're starting to realize oops well that's a given we should have thought about that first but you know um, trial and error I guess it you know everybody has those types of moments in life whether it's with a machinery or anything else of that nature but yeah guys um, overall love the machine it's been great and haven't had too many problems with it other than things that were kind of caused because of the lift and tires okay guys so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video the reason I just thought I'd I just put this out there in case there's anybody out there who either has range and they're considering lifting it or anything else um, that we had done on ours uh, just to give you a heads up if you're gonna do that just you know be weary you're gonna have to do everything if you want it to basically be bulletproofed otherwise you're going to eventually down the road a few years from now you're gonna have some things that you're gonna have to be uh, maintaining a lot more frequently than you should have to because of lift and tires but thank you so much for guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up I really do appreciate it and if it wasn't entirely what you were expecting please don't give it a thumbs down because I did cover everything I intended to cover with the video and the purpose of it so if it wasn't what you were looking to find you can just keep on looking but don't thumbs down the video just because it wasn't what you were wanting to see but always remember brotherhood outdoors once a sportsman always a sportsman <laughs>